come to a tense position. Back straight, fingers pointing, thumbs curled in, have a good bow, sign of respect. Shake those arms out, get them loosened up. Cross the body's good, make some circles, big windmill motions. Oh, start walking around a little bit. Oh, right. Let's get those legs, get some jogging. If you jog in place, I'm gonna chase Mr. Anderson around the classroom. That'll be my jogging today. If I catch my joke, it's kind of a fun exercise for me. Not so fun for him. Sometimes change directions, trying to get to the person, but uh, they tend to run away another way. Jump the jacks. Changing your belly from in to out. Rub your going if you're going in a sideways or out in a circle. Crisscross. Little salsa dance. I don't know what salsa music sounds like, honestly. I think I could probably do a salsa dance. I don't think I could figure out which music I'm supposed to do it to, though. Shake those legs out. Get some body squats in. So back straight, feet apart, toes forward, arms come up, butt goes down. All right, let's go. We're just gonna do 30 seconds. Dropping the butt, lifting the hands. Gotta remember to get in shape. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Halfway through the body squat. Missed it earlier, earlier today I filmed a class. We had about four minutes of squats and lunges back to back. Like, we'll put a 30 second breather in the middle. I think those people will not be joining me tomorrow probably from a wheelchair because their legs won't work. All right, shake those legs up. Have a seat on the floor. We're gonna do some bridges. So I'm gonna look over my shoulder. I'm gonna reach my opposite hand as far back as I can get it. Lift my butt, reach my hand. Bridge, super high. Look back, tap the floor. Reach your mat. How far can you reach? Two more. All right. Let's do some leg scissors up and down. So one foot up, one foot down. Let's go. Just keep them going. Up and down. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. These are hard to do, just bend your knees. Just like this, right? Otherwise, nice and straight. All right, relax, take your legs. Make some circles. So inward circle, other foot, and then together. Outward circle, so outward, outward, and together. All right, leg scissors again. Let's go, up and down, 30 seconds. Figure if you're more tired, you're more willing to listen, right? Ups and downs, halfway through this one. Keep going. Gotta get that body strong. Mr. Anderson just did two workouts back to back. He's doing it just fine. And time. Put those feet down. Let's do some bridges. Let's go. Reach it over that shoulder. Look it back. Oh. Use those legs some more. Lift that butt. Look over that shoulder. Tap. Tap the floor. Tap the floor. All right. Regular crunches, lift those feet, cross those ankles, upper abs, out through your mouth, in through your nose. Just breathe it out, back in. Keep it going. Get that belly strong. Someone's gonna put their knee on it today. Now hopefully you're not the smaller person in the group because the other person's gonna squash you. All right, relax. Roll onto that belly. Upper body push up. Stretch that back out a little bit. <sighs> Get that belly stretch back out. Get that lower back adjusted. All right, go down. Hands out to the side. Reach your foot across your body to your opposite hand. Oh man, you can't. 
keep switching if you like. I hold a little bit longer. My body's a little more beat up over the years. I'm gonna hold it. it takes a second to relax and get a stretch. You might find one side's feeling a little better, so you just switch back to the other side. Hold a little longer. All right, come on back. Hop on up on those knees, okay. So, we're gonna do this thing called knee mount. And your partner will either hate you by the end of this workout, um, or uh, you'll be nice to them. One of the two, there's really not uh, usually something in between where you're not nice to them and they still like you, okay? Um, so I'll have Mr. Anderson down here in front. We'll go sideways so he's parallel with your screen, okay? Let's we'll get a curve screen. We're not gonna curve them, okay? Um, Essentially, we're going to start in side control. We're going to work a knee mount, real simple. We'll just do it for a couple minutes, then we'll kind of move on and start to work on this choke. But if people aren't familiar, this is going to help out a little bit. So I start in a side control. We're going to be here. I'm going to take my arm, just going to put my thumb right inside of his collar, right? So I just reach in, whatever his collar is, t-shirt, hoodie, something, right? And I'm going to reach back, I'm going to grab his belt. So I'm holding on to his belt, or I can hold on to his pant leg. Or I just put my hand on the grow around, right? So whatever you can get a hold of. I'm gonna put my weight into my hands, I'm gonna pop up. And when I pop up, I put my knee on his solar plexus. My other foot's gonna be out here, so I wanna kinda have a square, like the size of my shoulders. So I have a nice square stance between my knee and my foot. So make a nice big square. I don't want my foot right here where he grabs onto it. Right? I don't want him holding onto my leg. So I'm gonna put it out here. And what we're gonna do today, if you were to reach out for that foot, that would just be beneficial because we'll be trapping that arm in a second anyways, okay? So we pop up. So we go down to side control, right? Get a hold of the belt and the collar, and I pop up like I'm jumping up onto a surfboard. When I'm holding the belt, that's fine. I can also hold the knee. We're gonna rotate so they can see you. So we put your head up. I'll keep going that way. There you go, freeze. Uh, let's go that way. Okay, so now you'll be able to see what my right foot is doing because I'm nice to my partner. So I'm down here in a side control position. I have a collar and I've got a belt, I pop up, and look at my foot. My foot has all my weight on it. My knee is just resting on him, right? So I'm just resting here like this because I like him. Right? I want him to keep doing the drill with me, so I'm not squishing him all the way. Now, if I was doing this for like a competitive or a self-defense aspect, if you watch here, right, we would hop up and my knee would be on him and I'd be trying to pull him around my knee and fold him so he wants to puke, right? And then he'll let me do what I want to do, okay? So we're just gonna do side control jump ups. You can pick one side, you can do both sides. We're just gonna do it for a minute. We're gonna let the other person go for a minute, and then we'll reverse one more minute, one more minute, okay? So each person gets two rounds in one minute. We'll go back and forth, it's good, because this way, as your partner's doing it to you, you can experience maybe something you were doing wrong, or something they did to you that really hurt, which is a benefit to you, because now you know. Okay, ready? So clock started, let's go. Three, two, one, pop it up. Oh, good position. Fold them up a little bit. You can try pulling them around your knee. Oh, right, make them want to puke. Oh, got my grip so I can turn his face away from me. That's why I want to grab the back of that collar. This way, if he tries to turn into me, I can block. If I'm holding here, he can turn towards me and push, right? So when I'm popping up, I try and get way back here on that collar. This way, if he tries to turn into me, I'm controlling his head. So I'm holding that collar. I'm not having it nice and loose here. I want to get right up on the other side and keep his head from turning in. Get that arm lock. It's like a jungle gym. It's like a, a candy store. I just keep seeing submissions everywhere I look. All right, let's swap it up. Other person goes. First in the bottom row, fall asleep.
and I fold them in half. Like all oh, like a soft shell taco. Just fold them around your leg. Last one. All right, other person, back to a minute. Partners, right, you can just put your head the opposite direction. We can stay on the same side of you, and then we still get to do other sides. So let's go. We got some time. Let's get started. Oh man, I got this. Belly button, belly button. Oh, pop up. Nice big grip. Smother them. I like doing the smother motion. It's kind of fun. Make it hard for them to breathe. partner might start to block me. He brings his inside knee up. Watch this. He might bring his inside knee up for the last couple seconds of this. Now what happens, if this starts to come up in the air, it kind of gets in the way of my leg, right? So if I'm here and he starts bringing that knee up, I just start to turn this way a little bit. Now when I bring my knee up, I can still bring it up in the inside. So if that becomes a problem, people are blocking you, just turn. So if you can see this, he brings his leg up. He started to get there because he knows I'm going up to knee mount. I just grab, hold him down. I rotate more north and south. This way, when I bring my knee up, I just bring it up kind of towards his face more. Right, then once I'm up here, I can adjust and get back into where I want to be. All right, let's go 15 more seconds. Or we can stop, oh man, we can get the leg too. All right, let's switch it up. Next person, set him up for that one. Fold them. Every once in a while, I'll pull them a little bit. Just don't be a jerk every time. But sometimes, <clears throat> see if you can get your knee right in their solar plexus. Right in that soft spot. If you're in the ribs, it's not very good, but the solar plexus really takes the wind out of them. Come on, 10 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna block the last couple. Yeah, remember, turn that body north and south first. Start to rotate your hips first. Then, yeah, pop up, pop up. That knee comes in, anyways. Excellent. All right, so knee mounts, we got it, right? We haven't done that before. We now know if we've done it before, we enjoy it. Um, so now from knee mount position, we're gonna grab onto our person's collar. We're gonna do this thing called a bat choke or baseball bat choke, okay? Whichever way you wanna call it. And essentially what happens is we're gonna hold their collar like a baseball bat, okay? To make this a little bit easier, we're gonna do it standing first. This way your partner's not putting their knee on your belly and squishing the snout of you as you're trying to learn it, okay? Let's get a little bit closer so you can see. All right, so now if you want to, this works. When I grab this collar, a lot of times we do a cross collar, right? We have a cross choke where my hands are reaching like across the body to get inside the collar. That's not the case on this one. Now it'll be reaching the same side, right? And this grips, for a lot of people, newer people, if they don't feel the X, they don't feel you cross, they don't really associate it with a choke. A lot of times, you know, they're here and they're used to you swinging and doing other kind of things, but it's always usually a cross. So this one's kind of fun because it's not cross. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna go on the right side. So even if you just had a hoodie on, or a shirt, I can still put my hand right inside, okay? My left hand is gonna go thumb, not eyeball, right? Into the collar. So my hand is palm up, and my thumb is palm. So you can see it kind of looks like I'm holding a baseball bat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive 
my right choking bone into his neck. So if you watch how this works, I'm just gonna kind of go here, I'm gonna just start turning in a circle. My arms, right, will kind of create a little noose here. So if you watch how this works, I go here, and I start to bring my elbow between my other elbow like this. So I just bring it underneath this arm. Now obviously I have a loose grip, that's why I can make it that far. So for the next minute, make sure you're ready to tap defenders because it's gonna be kind of not fun for you, right? And we'll just keep going. Go a minute straight. Go here. And you just bring your arm underneath. I'm just holding that shirt, even a hoodie, whatever. And I've done class drills where we grab an actual hood and you just use the hood for this also. So there's a way to do that. We grab here, just rotate underneath and try and get that tap, right? And then once you get it, you really don't need to super apply. You can go slow, partners tap early. Once you know your partner's getting it right, you know they're gonna get there. No passing out. Oh, no, just kidding, I was gonna throw them. I get excited sometimes, right? There's so many fun things we can do from these positions. Oh, man. All right, one more time. Oh, my partner will be sleeping before we do the drill. Okay, so ready? You're gonna put one hand in, palm up, and then just loosen it up. The other hand goes thumb in. You take the hand that's thumb up and you bring your elbow underneath your other arm and turn in a circle and just pinch. Ah. And if, let's say my partner grabs wrong, he grabs way too far out, right? And he's turning and I don't feel it, like help them. Like kind of go, yeah, that feels tight. Yeah, like help them choke you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's been a minute. No, I'm just kidding. Keep going. Yeah, just drop underneath and give a back choke throw. Two more times, let's go. One and two. All right, so I think we understand how that choke works. We're not gonna fling both sides. I think we get the gist of it, right? So the concept is we're holding the collar like it's a bat and we're bringing our elbow underneath the person. Um, here we go, I'm gonna grab something real quick just to show you, uh, it really doesn't matter and magically back on camera. What it is, it could be anything. Watch how this works. I can take this, put it behind his head, hold it like a baseball bat, turn, and get the same choke, right? Could be a pair of nunchucks, could be an actual bat, could be a stick, shoelace, hoodie, uh, ponytail. Whatever you can get your hands on behind someone's head and hold and twist, it's gonna create that choking, that crimping down, that guillotine motion on the neck, okay? So this is called our bat choke. Now, let's find this choke in a grappling situation. So I'm gonna have you go down this way, sir. Your head's actually gonna face uh, the participants, the choke and choke hers. Okay, so I'm gonna be in my knee mount position. Remember, my weight's on the ball of my foot. I'm kind of sitting on my foot. My knee is just resting on him. I'm not, uh, I'm not putting weight into his belly, making him croak from that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my hand right here behind his collar, right? This one's gonna be over in a belt, something. I'm gonna put this hand into his collar. Now he's not resisting. We can get into um, how to clear his hands because he might bring his hands up and start to block, right? We can work on how to clear those hands in a second. Right now we're just gonna keep the uniform loose or whatever it is. We're gonna make it easy so we don't have a lot of roughed up necks. So from this position, I do the same thing. Here's my right knee's on the belly, my right hand goes palm up, okay? My left hand goes thumb in. I'm gonna take my knee and I'm gonna put it down over his arm. So again, there's a little gap here. The ball of my foot's on the ground, there's space. I'm not crushing his arm right now, but I'm gonna slide over the top. So now my knee's here next to his ear. I'm gonna take this foot here, I'm gonna step. So I'm pivoting, and I'll show you a couple angles. And then I just put my head on the ground, and it creates a choke. So get ready to lift yourself back up. Okay, so let's go ahead this way. I'll show you one more time, and then we'll just kind of start drilling, and I'll break it down as I'm doing in case you need to watch the work. So in position, my right hand goes palm up. My left thumb is into his collar. I pin the arm with my knee on the floor. You can see how I'm just pinning it using the ball of my foot. 
Now I just pivot, I turn 90 degrees. I take this foot, I step past his head. Now I don't need his arm anymore. I put my head where my knee used to be, where my toes used to be. And then I just take my hands and just sense the choke, okay? So we're gonna give you two minutes to kind of practice this, just one person, right? And then we'll do two minutes on the other person. And then we'll come back and kind of talk about some other situations I run into. So for two minutes, and me and Mr. Anderson, as we're taking our turns, we'll keep rotating in case at any point for the two minutes you want to stop and just watch and pick something up or a foot or, a, or an arm is. Okay, let's go. Two minutes. We're going right knee on the belly, right hand palm up, left thumb in the collar, right knee pins the arm, left foot steps around. At that point, I release. My head goes on where my foot was, and I get the choke. Okay, every time we'll just rotate, sir. We're gonna choke you at every point on the clock today. We're in knee mount position, slip my hand up, get my thumb in, shoot my knee over the arm, rotate, head on the floor, please. Be ready to let go of the collar. Look at that, just rotate, I don't even have to do much work. Knee on the belly, palm up, thumb in. Slide into home. Turn, head to the floor, create the choke. If your partner is crushing your windpipe, that's not where we're trying to actually choke, the side of the neck. So if your partner's crushing your windpipe, go ahead and let them know, right? Get them to adjust. That means their arm's in the wrong spot. They may get a little more behind your neck, a little bit less on your shoulder. Get my collar grips, slide my knee through, pivot the corner, head goes down. And I'm getting that choke. Knee on the belly. Get the grips. Slide, rotate, head to the floor. Finish the choke. Got one more minute. If you need to watch, feel free to watch first. Get my grips. Slide in. Step. Head down. Pull up. Now, are there other variations? Yes, there are lots, lots of different variations. Lots of people will tell you to do this different. This is the way my instructor, Master Machado, wants you to do it at this point. So this is the way that we're gonna practice. And we turn. Baseball choke from knee mount position. Slide the knee, step around, drop the head, lift. All right, let's get one more time, one more time. Knee mount position. Get my arms, slide. All right, rotate jobs. Another person. Just start up in your knee mount. We got two minutes. If you need to stop and watch, we're going two minutes, we're rotating angles every time, we're going kind of slow. Should make it a little bit easier. Pin the arm, step the foot out, rotate the other foot over, put your head where your toes were, and partner makes a lot of noise, right? Be dramatic, let your partner know they're choking you. Man, I love this one. We're just going one knee stays down. Grab it. Slide it. Now notice when he turns the corner, watch this foot. This foot's going to move with him. So he's going to release that and spin on his knee. Yeah, perfect rotation. Now see this elbow. If this is up here, it's going to come across my head. So he wants to keep this real tight. So I'm almost kind of putting his head towards my belly because it shifts his arms into choke position. When his head hits the floor, yep, that choke can already be happening. So we're 
just kind of making sure we're keeping those arms off that person's face, not because we like it, but because we want the choke to work real effective. You got 15 more seconds, get in, a couple more. Boom, keeping those arms up nice and tight this way, here we go. You got time, one more. Go ahead, get one more in. Just because it's fun. Can't have just one, or 10. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, there you go, nice. All right, excellent. So, let's look at some problems. What, what are some problems that we can run into, right? The person could stop us from grabbing, uh, I'll come over to you, I'll come to you. I'm gonna choke you. Um, they can try to stop us. This is this is problematic, right? So I get up, I knee out, and I want to put this arm in, but he's just not going to just lift it up and give it to me. So he's when we're here and I'm in this position, right? I'm controlling. He's going to be trying to block this, right? So what I'm going to do is I, I have to look at two things. If he's back here, I'm just going to take my fingers, just drill bit myself, just right through and grab. So if his arm is protecting that side of his head. Turn this way, sir. There's nothing stopping me from just drilling my hand through and going on the inside. If he starts to kind of block like this, then it's gonna be hard to get my fingers in. Might be kind of hard to drill underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my elbow and I'm gonna bring my elbow and just pull his arm out of the way. And then I slip my hand into the collar. So I don't have any weight on his belly right now, right? We're being nice, okay? We don't wanna squish him the whole time I'm talking. So what I'm gonna do is gonna just kind of sit on the floor. I'm gonna kind of forgive my knee mount for a little bit. He's gonna work on kind of blocking. So I've already had this hand in behind this collar before I jumped up, right? So now if I'm pulling my left hand real tight, this collar is real tight. It makes it even harder for my hand to get in. So what I'm gonna do with this hand is I'm gonna push. See how I kind of create more space when I'm pulling, it's tight. I push, I open it up. Say, hey, here you go, buddy, right there, right? Give him a hold to jump in. So I've got this collar, I'm holding him. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my arm in and I'm gonna just swoop his arm and place my hand inside the collar. And then this thumb will slide. See how it's real far back here? Because remember, I'm trying to stop him. So if he wants to turn into me, I'm stopping him with this arm. This is really far through and I'm stopping him. So now when I go for this, he's got his arm in the way. I'm gonna take my elbow, I'm gonna pinch, just gonna grind it out. And look, I take the uniform and I put it where this hand can get. Now, this left hand slides back and creates space. So he'll block, I'll take my hand, I'll do nothing with it. My elbow gets his wrist, I bring it back, I give myself space, now my hand goes in and then I slide this hand over and then we would do the rest of the motion. So just practice this little fight. Don't give him a lot of resistance at first, kind of start a little bit easier. You can provide resistance, remember I'm taking my elbow on the wrist, watch here if he has his arm up, <clears throat> I put my arm on his elbow it's not gonna be very easy to move. I put my hand on this wrist, it's easier to move my hand into position, okay? All right, let's go. Just practice this problem where they're blocking. Let's get rid of that problem so we don't run into it when we try it later. So he's blocking, he doesn't wanna let me get in. Oh, I just fed it in there. And if his arm's in there, it would just choke him anyway. So I don't care if his arm's in here. If I get into this collar, yeah, I just fed it again. Um, yeah, there we go. So if I can't, see I can't feed it this time, then I just put my elbow and I just grind it open, and then I just put the uniform into my hand. So just keep it going. Go another 30 seconds, just put it right across his chin. Yeah, people don't like that. If I'm just messing with his wrist, he might be able to be fine with this. It doesn't feel that bad, so he lives through it. I just kind of turn his chin a little bit, and that tends to make him wanna stop resisting as much. Kind of like say, hey, let's just negotiate. I get the choke and you don't get the pain. Yeah, make sure you're not killing your partner's neck. All right, ready? Time to switch, other person. You'll find that at first your partner starts to resist when you learn to block this, they just let you have it. They just say, no, it hurts to resist. Or you need your hand in behind, there you go. Oh yeah, I'm saying, no way, he's not getting in there. Call this the windshield wiper, just windshield wiper. Bear the arm, yeah, there you go. 
And you know what? If my arms are low and you can open up the collar, but you just do it. Now, if my arms are there, it's fine. If he starts, yeah, go ahead. If he starts to twist, my arm's just going to get tangled up in there. It's going to hurt my wrist. It's, it's my fault. I don't want to leave it in there. Yeah, if I'm trying to be a smart out and put it on that side, it didn't do me any good. Keep going. Come on, let's go 10 more seconds. It's like a hand dance. Hand dance. Oh, yeah, there we go. That clears the hand dance. One more. One last. Nice. Just you're become an expert at snaking your hands into people's collars. Okay, so what could be a problem? That person could do what? They could take their hands and stop you. We have a solution. We're just going to take the elbow, pull the arm out of the way, and we're just going to get those arms, right? Um, some people might try to put their arm up, just do the choke anyway. So they'll just smush their own arm into their neck. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you some, some different things with this real quick. So there's another variation that uh, I, I've been through in the past is kind of fun. It's a little bit different if you watch how this works. So we're here, I got my position, I got the neck and I got the belt, I pop up, I turn away from me, I start fishing this hand in, if he blocks it, right, too late now, I get, now watch how this works. I'm gonna take my knee, I'm gonna pin this arm. Now what I'm gonna do is instead of uh, walking around the corner, I'm just gonna kick this leg out and I'm gonna drop my elbow to my belt. So my elbow touches my belt and I lay back. Man, less work, right? All right, rock and roll. So watch again, I pop up, I get my hand into the collars, I swoop this one across the arm, and now I kick this leg out, I slide back to the hip, and I touch my knee to my, or sorry, not my knee, that would be bad for him. I touch my elbow to my belt. Twice I'm gonna get my knee up there, he'd be tangled, okay? All right, so, whoa, there goes his wrist. So let's review, pop up, boom. Collar grip, we're not gonna resist right now so we can get more practice. Slide, trap the arm, fall back. Bring your elbow into your belt, just twist your wrist, bring your elbow in, create the choke. So I'm laying on this side, let's turn uh, this way so they can see. Right, so I pop up, I'm in the knee mount, I got the arms. Sliding and then just falling back this side. So just falling back to that same side I started on. All right, so let's spend two minutes. We'll practice this variation. Then we'll kind of play with it a little bit. So we're just going to rotate every time we do it for two minutes. We'll go a little bit slower. Uh, if you need to stop and watch, feel free just to stop and watch for a second and then jump back in. But keep the same person doing it. Um, let your partner know when it's not. Actually, why don't we, we'll do a minute and then we'll rotate. This way, sometimes it's good when your partner does it to you if you can uh, feel it. So we'll go one minute, switch, one minute, switch, one minute, switch. All right, ready? Let's go. I get the start. Oh, our marks. Get the sleeves. Nice tight control. Start to get the technique down. You're getting the choke every single time. Loosen up the grip so you don't actually finish the choke, but you finish the position. Once you know you're going to get it every time, loosen up your grip. Purposely have a little bit of bad mechanics. This way you can go faster and not have to worry about the actual choke setting in. Right. So I purposely just put my hands farther apart. I know how to get it the right way. This way I can practice. You know, a little bit quicker motion. But I don't have to worry about my partner, you know, pass that out. Uh, let's roll one time. No, roll. There we go. All right, one more time from us, and we're going to rotate people. Get that collar. Slide. Lay back. All right, let's rotate. Other person. Side control. Knee mount. Grips, slide through, trap the arm, and then just lay back. 
Yeah, kick the foot out front and just lay back, touch all of your ribs. Have your partner slap in the ground. Remember, you're trying to lay right on the side of them. So when you lay back, lay on the side. Don't be over them anymore. You want to lay right on the side, right on their hip. Other person, try doing your other arm, or if you're still a little bit confused, do the first arm again. Perfectly fine. I gotta reverse, I gotta do both arms. Oh man, you never know what side someone's gonna give you, so I like to get both arm practice in. Pop up, get my arm in. You might have a little bit of roughed up neck after your person's pinning you this many times. Oh, fingers, arms, elbows. time. Another person gets one more minute. Finish. All right. Other person. Let's go. Choke them. One more. Might as well get it in. We're already in position. Get it one more time. Oh, 
All right, so pretty simple mentality, right? Get up to any amount, choke the person. Um, it's called a baseball choke because uh, you're holding their collar like a baseball bat grip. Uh, I want to look at one more submission. We won't have a ton of time to play with it, but I want to just give it to you real quick. Uh, just another scenario that might happen, so let's have him go. Um, we'll do feet that way, head this way. This is north. Okay, so let's say I'm in side control and I decide I'm going to pop up. So I pop up in the knee mount and he starts to try to push my leg off. Right? He's trying to push my leg up. He's trying to maybe turn towards me. My grip's not stopping him. Whenever you have this happen, right? And that seems like a common thing. Let's rotate a little more. Just for a second, that's good. So you would think that if I put my knee on his belly, he'd be trying to push it off because it hurts. Um, I love rolling with beginners, right? People, first couple of years, because when I drill my knee in their belly, they do this. They push, watch. See this little hole, this little like magic spot? This is my south hand, because this is where his feet are, right? You take your south hand, you go in the little basket, and you just pull up. You push their face down, and you step over. Now watch. Spin it, break it. Right, and that look like fun? Real easy one to learn, maybe not an easy one to accomplish, okay? So watch how this works. We're gonna go knee on belly, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I want my partner to let me do the drill. He pushes my knee off, right? When he goes to push my knee off, put my hand in the hole, my south hand goes in the hole. I hug the arm to me. Now from here, there's lots of scenarios we could go to. I could go to other grips. We're gonna do the fun one, right? Although that's kind of fun too. So I hug it to me. I push his face down because I don't want him to roll back this way. So I push his face down and I step over. Now I just turn. Turn, 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 turn. Sit down, grab his pant leg. Otherwise he'll walk away. And then he'll roll out, right? And he'll escape. I don't want him to escape. So if we get him down, oop, out of the way, there we go. And I grab his pant leg or his leg. And then I hold on to this and then break it. Got it? Let's go. I'll walk you through it verbally and we'll do each person one more minute. What to do if someone tries to push you off because knee mount sucks, right? So I purposely will grab people, the beginners, and I'll start just janking on them. So when they go to push, we hook the arm, push their face down, pull them to you. Go over the top, put your knee behind their back, hug their arm tight, turn in a circle, grab a hold of the arm, and break it. Get ready to tap. Get ready to be nice to their arm. Uh, let's rotate, sir. I'll help you turn your head that way. Thank you, sir. Ready? We're in knee mount. They're pushing on our knee. Shoot your hand through the basket. Pull. Push their face down. Step over. Rotate. Grab their arm. Break it. Two more times. I'm in knee mount. He pushes. I loop through, pull to me. I push his face down, step over, turn. Get the arm, break it. One more time. We're not obviously going to hit a lot of mechanics. We're not going to really show a lot of the mechanics. Just another concept, kind of see uh, where we're going with it. We hook the arm. We pull up, we push down, go behind, rotate, hook the arm, break the elbow. All right, other person. And where's he going? I'm trying to follow him. Okay, ready? Starts to knee him out. I take my outside hand, or I try to push his knee off. He takes his south hand, loops it through poles, pushes my face to the floor so I can't turn, steps over, and just keeps turning. Sits down, his one shin is in my ribs, this foot's over the top of my neck, and he pulls back. Man. And then we rotate. In knee mount. I push his leg off. He scoops the arm, he pulls it up. Oh man. He spins around. Sits down. He yanks the arm. Gets the submission. Which way you want to go? There. Okay, let's go that way. Alright, ready? He goes to knee mount. I push his leg off. He scoops and pulls, shoves the face, steps over, spins, gets the arm, and breaks it off. Where do you want to go? 
want to be this side or this side? This side. All right, ready? Goes to knee mount. I push it off, south hand, meaning the foot side, scoops the arm, pull, push the face down. Step around, pivot, squeeze the knees, and break the arm. Let's go one more time. Goes up to knee mount. Ready? Pop it up. Trying to push his leg off. This continues that direction, steps over, and breaks the arm. Excellent. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Start in side control. Each person gets a minute at this game. Hop up to knee mount. Get a submission. Partners on the bottom, the first time you let them submit you, they might choke you one of the ways we did, they might do the arm bar one, but they win for sure. The second time, you give them a little bit of grief, right? You resist, but eventually they win. By the time we get to our third one, might be at the minute point for some of you, resist, right? Don't let them do it. And then you can start to figure out what kind of problems you're gonna have. All right, let's get started. Got one minute, let them win, give them some grief, and then just stop them. All right, let's go. But let them get to knee mount first every time. They get to knee mount, the game starts. <sighs> Turn his face, get that arm in, slip through. Get the choke. All right, now my second turn. Let's go, let's go. Gives me a little bit of grief this time. Oh man, I get my grip. North and south more. Pulling up. Give him a ride. Break the grip. He keeps his hand and is perfectly fine with me. Yeah, I just use his hand as part of the choke. And the third time, he doesn't have to let me get anything. Oh man, so I make sure I'm really focused on taking the belt. Heavy chest on chest. I'm here. I'm turning him back with my wrist. See how he tried to go? I use my wrist to stop him. Slip my hand in. Use that knee to drive his arm out of the leg. Get the choke. All right. Let's go, let's go. See? Each potato should be a big boy. You can twist people around. All right, ready? Or a big girl, right? Or a big girl. All right, the first time they go, let them get it. Second time, gives you resistance, but let him win. Let him beat the resistance, right? Or help him, help him figure it out. Third time, give him some grief. You don't have to let him win if you don't want to. It's okay to be a bully this time. They pop up. Oh, and then it's on, it's live. Where are we going? Oh man. Not trying to escape, I'm just trying to stop his submissions, right? I'm not trying to escape position. Oh, he's just gonna take this one. Oh man, all oh, good, just turn the face. He's got the arm, I'm giving him grief on the arm too. Ah, oh, foot break, arm walk, excellent. Oh, sweet deal, I like it. So obviously, we can start to chain together tons of attacks, I always like to have at least two attacks in mind. I don't want to have one attack in mind and they shut it down and I have no clue what I'm going to do, right? I like to have an attack. I like to know how to defeat a couple things they could do to stop it. But then I also like to have a secondary attack, something I'm looking for if I start to fail on that, kind of a next direction go. So hopefully that helps. It's called a baseball bat choke. You can do a standing, you do it from guard, half guard. Uh, you can actually do it from the bottom of side control. I would suggest you train from there. You can do it from the top of side control, knee mount, those kind of spots. So, it's a lot of fun, but be careful anytime you're choking someone, you're cutting off circulation to their brain, which can start to cause uh, bad things to happen inside the brain. And uh, eventually the person could pass out if you're, if you're not playing right. And if they pass out, then we have things to deal with there. So be very careful. Let your partners know to tap. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, let go. Uh, don't hold for too long at any point, whether you're good or whether you're not good. Cool? Okay. All right, let's hop on up. We'll finish class with a bow. So good attention position. Point the fingers, curl the thumbs back straight. Shoulders back and about high fives. Yeah. One for you. <laughs>